Hello, my name is David Clark. I'm the Managing Director of DVC and I'm going to give you a short tutorial about manipulating some still images in VizTitle, which is a plugin for Edius, Premiere and Avid. I was inspired to make this video by looking at some of the tutorials created by SGV Video that we sell for VizTitle and it made me think, oh, I wonder if I can do this kind of effect inside of VizTitle. Now this title is a titling program, but it can also do a lot of fancy compositing effects. And what I've been asked for quite a lot is an effect rather like this. Which is where you take a still image and you add a sort of 3D move to it. So you have to chop it all up into different layers and then move around it in 3D. Normally you do this sort of thing in a compositing program like After Effects. Now I'm going to show you how to do this kind of thing inside of this title. Now possibly the hardest part of doing this effect is actually getting the image ready in the first place. What you've actually got to do is take a still image. Now in this case I'm just using this image of some parrots. And you've got to chop it up into the different layers and you've got to decide what's in the front, what's in the middle and what's in the back. Now I'll go over that later just in case you don't know how to do it. But for now let's assume that you've done that, you've chopped up all the different layers and you've saved them out as different images. Now the first thing I want to do is to start VizTitle. I'm using VizTitle inside of Edius here, but it does work in Premiere and Avid as well. Inside of Edius, to start VizTitle, what you've got to do is either click on the T button and choose VizTitle, or right click on the track where you want it to go and choose New Clip VizTitle. And it'll stick a VizTitle title on the timeline. So now I've got to add the pictures into VizTitle. So to do that, you come up to this icon here. If you hang over it long enough, it says Image. Click on it and then draw out a box over the entire title. It should fit the screen, but don't worry. If you don't, you can solve that in a minute. Then, I've still not got a picture in here, so with the box selected, I've got to come over here to the Properties section of this title and down to this section just here and choose the picture that I want to load up. So I'm going to click on the Browse button. And here you can see I've got the four pictures that I've already created. So there's a background. Then there's a, a parrot that goes in the back, there's a parrot at the front, and the front twig. And all four of those are now separate images. And I'm going to select the background first, and open it, and that puts it on screen. And it makes it fit the box. Now, I made these images 1920 1080 resolution, so they're exactly the resolution of the video. And the best way to make sure you get them to exactly the right size is come down here and click on this button that says Origin and that resizes it so it's 1920 by 1080 and it fits exactly in my 1920 by 1080 viz title screen. So there we are, I've got the background in. Now I want to bring in the other images, so I could do the same thing and draw out more boxes, but I want to make sure they go in exactly the right place. And the way I prefer to do that is basically to take the image I've already got, make a copy of it, and then load the next image into the copy. And to do that, it's very simple. Select the image here in the timeline, and I do Control c for copy, Control v for paste. You could actually click on the image, come up to the Edit heading, and then choose the Copy and the Paste button. But personally, I just prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts, which are standard Windows ones, Control c for copy, Control v for paste. So now I've got a new image. Come back over here to the Properties button, click on Browse, and select the next one, which is going to be the back parrot. And then make sure I've got the image selected again, and then do Control c Control v and I've got another one. Click on the Browse button, select the front parrot, and finally Control c Control v again. Click on the Browse button and get the front twig. And now I've got all four layers inside of the image. You can make sure you've got them in the correct places by clicking these buttons on and off. Turning off the eye turns off a particular layer and you can see, yeah, I've managed to get those all in exactly the right places and in exactly the right order. Now, it's vaguely possible you might bring them in and not get them in the right order. So how do you sort that out? How do you rearrange them? Again, that's fairly simple. Before I start rearranging them, looking at all these, they're all called image. It would be an awful lot easier if they were called something sensible. So I'm going to come through and actually change the name of each of these tracks into something sensible. And to do that, I'm going to select this one. You notice it says here that's the front twig. I'm going to come over to the track header where it says image, right click, choose rename, 
and call it front twig. The next one up, let's see, that's the front parrot. So again, right click on the word image, call it front parrot. The next one up, that's the back parrot. Right click on the word image. And finally, the last one, well, that's the background. I'm only doing that so I can easily tell which layer is which. What do I do to get them in the right order? Well, looking at all this lot, in most editing programs and effects programs, they go from the bottom to the top. So the background layer would be at the bottom, the next one up would be above it, and so on. In VizTitle, it's the other way around. So, you know, the background is right at the top of this stack on the timeline, although visibly it's behind everything else. And that's just how VizTitle works. There is a nice little button down here, which if you hang over it long enough says track layer matched with object layer. And if I click on that, it puts them in the order that they appear on screen. So now the background's at the bottom, the back parrot's the next one up, the front parrot's there, and the twig's there. And I like to click that button because to me it makes more sense. It doesn't actually change anything, it just changes the way they're displayed in the timeline. And I like to use that because it shows them in the order that I'm used to. Of course, if you've got them in the wrong order, all you do is you grab hold of one of these layers, pick it up and move it. So, you know, if the background was in the wrong place and it was wiping everything out, grab hold of it, drag it and drop it in the right place. I put it at the back there. It just so happened when I brought them all in, I brought them all in the right way. But I have had occasions when I thought I've done it right, they've all come in the wrong way around and I just had to reorganise them. That's all you do, pick them up and move them, just like you would in your editing programme.